Welcome to our brand new series where we meet some of the people who make stars A-list lives just a little more fantastic. Yeah, and we're kicking things off with the woman behind some of the most extravagant celebrity wardrobes. With an eye for luxury, Lisa Adams has revamped the closets of the rich and famous, including lending a hand to the Kardashian clan. Oh Ta -da. my god. It is so beautiful. Is it everything you dreamed of? Yes, it's everything <laughs> I dreamed of. And then it some? It better be. <laughs> High five, guys. <laughs> Conquering the clothes of other high-profile stars like Reese Witherspoon, Tyra Banks and Olivia Culpo, the sensational stylist is making designer dreams come true as a fashion fairy godmother. We love it. Oh, I do love it so much. Lisa Adams joins us live from Los Angeles. Hi, welcome to the show. Thank you. How did you first realise that this was your calling in life, to be a wardrobe designer? <laughs> well, it's definitely been a journey. Um, I studied chemistry in college, went to business school, found myself at a fork in the road and saw a niche in the market, closets. So I started my company in 2007 and this was a time when kitchens were all the rage and closets were pretty underappreciated spaces and I wanted to make a difference. Are you aware how much of a difference you are making right around the world? Are you aware that TV hosts like <laughs> Kylie Gillies on the other side of the world go weak at the knees and can hardly breathe at the, uh, at the possibility of this interview? Oh, I love hearing that. I love that. <laughs> You've created huge closets for Chris, Kylie, Kendall, Jenner. I mean, what's it like working with those people? You know, it was so fun. It was a time when we were fil filming Million Dollar Closets, so, which documented the process from start to finish. Um, Chris Jenner is a pro. She loves organization. So it was just a genuine appreciation for design, and we really saw eye to eye on the whole process. Okay, now you also created an entire wardrobe just for Khloe Kardashian's gym gear. Now, I just leave my <laughs> gym gear on the floor and it, 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 I always know where to find it. What were the special requests for the gym gear closet? Oh, you know, she... <laughs> I mean, what better way to... You know, the workout closet is the ultimate motivator for exercising and being healthy. Um, but really, in there, she wanted a refrigerator. We needed to accommodate storage for workout clothing, gym accessories, uh, all of that. Um, so really, I mean, it's just storing all of that, and it really just motivates her to keep on working out. Wow. Oh, look at all those leggings. Oh, my God. You've worked <laughs> with so many people. Have there been any other celeb favorites for you, Lisa? You know, I would probably say Christina Aguilera. Um, she is wildly creative and she was eight months pregnant at the time, but I incorporated a swivel purse carousel, a desk, <laughs> mannequins for the wig collection, uh, a fireplace, and even a sliding shoe cabinet. So it was because of Christina, because she was so open to new ideas that that sort of came about. Uh, what are some of the strangest, like the weirdest requests that people have made? You really want to hear it? Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> so I've done stripper poles in closets. I've done a putting green, um, cosmetic refrigerators, tailoring platforms, and even a three-story closet. Well, that all sounds great. If we could just go back to the stripper pole. Who was that? <laughs> she's, not, she's not telling. Oh, you're not oh, telling really? us who the stripper pole was. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> you know, like convertible stripper pole that's in the master closet. Take it down when you want to, but... Have fun. It's oh. a multifunctional space. Wow. It's yes, very convenient. How convenient. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how much are some of these stars spending on a wardrobe renovation? Um, so anywhere from 35000 to literally a million dollars. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Hey, yeah. what, is your, what does your wardrobe look like? Uh, you know the adage, the shoemaker. Um, it it <laughs> yes. took a long time to do my closet. Is this, your, this is yours? The, the, it's mostly white? Is that the one we're looking at? Um, not this oh, one, no, um, no, 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 but this okay. one, this one is mine. Oh, wow. Yeah, so wow. I would say my clients were inspiration. Um, they were all impacted the design and, you know, I really felt like I needed to be the guinea pig for mm. new design. So, so I sort of took that liberty and, you know, came up with some cool elements. Lisa, here's the thing though, like I, I think <laughs> I could possibly design a wardrobe if like this no, no no the space that you get to play with like what a luxury for most of us we, we don't have the luxury of this kind of space that must be just a dream to have so much space to play with in a house yes 
Um, but you know, I mean, the same principles apply. You know, I, I do closets in New York and Hawaii where, you know, space is limited and I think you just need to be efficient with the space. Yeah. Um, and just, you know, there's so many different tips and accessories, you know, to, to dress up, whether it's a small closet or a three-story closet. Well, okay. What is a tip, a take-home tip then for some of us who don't have that space to play with? Can you give us some tips? Yeah, um, probably my favorite accessory in the closet is the pull-out valet hook. I put them in every one of my closets and they're just great for, you know, packing, for getting dressed mm. in the morning and just incoming dry cleaning. Um, I also like to tell people to change out hangers that, you know, really the closet should be consistent with the same type of hangers and that really takes the closet from drab to fab. I was so hoping your number one tip would be a stripper pole. <laughs> it's okay. Well, thank you. I know you did. Yeah, Kylie will be talking about this all weekend. Lovely <laughs> to talk to you this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Lisa. Thank uh, you so we'll, much. We'll be back dream. in just a tick.